am asking for is this. I am asking for all of you to stay as calm as possible. I'm asking for the superheroes to rally to my side. I know you're scared, and I know you're terrified of how powerful the void is. You're the tell. Potentially a radical against all of us. But we have to stand together. If there's any chance for us to succeed, so meet me at the Statue of Liberty, and together, all of us, superheroes and supervillains alike, will stand against the power of the void. And so what's really awesome about this is that they respond. Initially, of course, the Incredible Hulk shows up right off the bat. And there's even this uncertainty as to whether anybody else will appear. What they do? Spider-Man, Captain America, even Billy Turner. Oh, shit. Sure. Right? The Avengers, the X-Men, the Fantastic Four. There's even villains nice here like Dr. Octopus. And of course, there's other villains outside of him as well. The Dr. Octopus says, like, even no, villains right. in the villain community understand the level of threat that's posed here by the existence of the Void. He will kill us all. He will destroy every single one of us. And so when Reed Richards shows up, there's a very tense moment between Robert Riddles and Reed, where based on the memories of things that Robert Riddles recalls, Reed basically turned against it. Right? Reed, Reed, Reed like, died. Like, even during the funeral of Robert Riddles, when he had quote-unquote died, that Reed had told the world that he was a traitor. So by all standards of measurement, Reed had betrayed the friendship of Robert Riddles and then destroyed his memory and were for over for whatever reason that made sense to Reed. Even Riddles himself doesn't fully understand, but the reality is that the events that are unfolding here and the arrival of the void are oh, way more than anything else. And so what ends up going on is, of course, as the void basically makes his appearance here, that Robert Reynolds is the first one to step up and the first one to launch an attack. And it's like this amazing moment here because you have these heroes who do want to attack as best they can, but for the most part, they're scared, but they're terrified out of their wits. People like Thor step up, Thor gets crushed, but then that's when, like, Doctor Strange appears to read. Quite literally, Dr. Strange slows right, down talks and then says, we need to have a conversation. It, you now know that you are the one who created the so device that blocked the century's memories or the existence of the century right. from everybody in the world. And you're the one who spoke at his funeral talking about him being a traitor. But do you know why you did all of this? Do you know why any of this happened in the first place? And this is one of the best moments of the entirety of the story. That what ends up happening is the Fantastic Four arrive in New York and the entirety of the place is just crushed. Devastated, right? Like millions and millions of people have been killed here. And then Robert Reynolds himself is facing off against the force. But then in this fight, the Fantastic Four came to a realization oh, that the no, that was not just an enemy out there. I was like, I was like, who's a fool? And that's the reason why all of this has happened. And the reality and, and the reason why oh, John Madden, bro. Don't do a fucking news. That was for me. And the void is the physical manifestation of every fear and They run over center with Charles. Nope. Nope. Brother died. Okay. Oh, he's gonna go out of bounds. Stop that again. Push him to that would allow everybody to forget the century exists, right? To wipe their minds. But it wasn't enough to kind of wipe their minds of the century because ultimately oh, anyone would come looking, right? Like somebody somewhere might remember something. And then as that time progresses, they'll start to recollect this great superhero that the world has seemingly forgotten. And so in order to push the world in a direction to where they not only forget the century, but have no desire to go looking for him, the story was concocted.
Clearly, what? Okay. That's okay. What happened to our dives? What the fuck? We dove in place. Here to kick it away. Me. Huh? You're scared. I am scared. 
What the fuck does Axe do? A little concert. God damn. I'm so sick of this fish. This should be over. Give me white male history mark, alright? Am I right, you guys? Oh, white male history mark. Yes, sir, Williams. Here we go, get a feel. How do you pick off a slender one snapper? We love animation baseball, bro. Enjoy the rest of the month, and honestly, I think what does he ever have time to throw? Thank you. Like, what the fuck? He does not have the ability to throw the ball. Okay. You're like, yeah, I'm about to pit, bro. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna have a team. I'm just gonna have a team. I'm no, no, I was going to be good talking. Uh, okay, okay. I was going to Ultimate Legends packs. I think it's five packs, but each of those packs has to cost coins. If you really 
tough to get an upgrade here, Loki. Cody Whitehair, we of course get an Ultimate Legends player. It's free safety 88 Eric Berry. You know what's pretty awesome about that, though? Is I can prestige that. Like, I can prestige Eric Berry into 98 Eric Berry. 87 Crom the loyalty token, and we get an AKA player? That's sweet. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. The Eric Berry prestige would be incredible. I don't know if you guys know Eric Berry's story, but this dude was a safety in the league. He got diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is cancer. Beat the cancer and came back to the league. It was so, so insane. That was probably when I first started watching NFL football. It's just such an incredible story. So, hey, to have 98 overall Eric Berry on the squad would be pretty sick. We gotta make it to the Super Bowl to get a prestige anyway, so I'm not gonna get ahead of myself. This second pack right here has a Michael Thomas already burned. Awesome. Wild cards. Nothing I'd go crazy for. AKA good also will likely contain a really good potential for speech play. Yeah, when I look at these packs, I figured out my prestige. Dude, there is no way. Is a punter worth it more than a free safety? Probably not, but for those of you who are wondering why I'm freaking out so much, yes, this is a 96 overall puncher in the Scottish Hammer, but why you saw the ball? Oh. his own ability. It activates simply by him being on your lineup. It is plus one agility, kick power, impact blocking, and hit power. For kickers, punters, your entire D line, and all your linebackers. It's just hilarious. Number one, number two, he's the best punter in the game. <laughs> he also has 90 speed. He's also a pretty good intro. Guys, like, guys, what the fuck is the point of inside stuff if y'all just gonna look at him? Both of y'all just got off the block and was like, cool. They're running gunners, I'm saying. <laughs> Is a Good shirt to do. Punching, punching, punching. Yes, sir. Kyle Hamilton putting niggas on the dirt. I'm gonna put one dude in here. I'm gonna I'm gonna mess up that name for the million times, but you know what? He's 95 speed Okay. 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 Is there a second wheel spin? Those vibes are the track. Alright, moving on! Man, click on! That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. That's click on second. I'm gonna add the coin value for these two wheel spins, and I can spend that on one play. So, our first wheel spin. Now, let's get a jackpot out of the second wheel. What a block. Seventy-two yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. All right, I gotta ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level, most things are the there you go. Oh, that worked. I was staring at the street. Oh, my bad. I tried to buy him. 
Uh, Mr. Ball. Yeah, I like, I like. I like to. He's good. Can't yeah. hold over. I thought she was gonna throw it to the wide open slant. I was like, no way he throws it to me. <laughs> I was watching the slant. I was like, oh, okay, cool. That ball goes in the air. I was like, fuck. So I don't think the slants are going to be open. So. It's okay to get a pick. Player. So it looks like we're moving on. Uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Get away from me, bitch. Oh, yeah. Stop fucking playing, man! Let's fucking go. Oh shit! All pro Marlo right there, man. Yeah, I'm gonna just be John Madden and just yeah, go get fucked. Oh no, he crashed! He crashed! I'm gonna kill myself, dude. Yeah. That's a he's crashing, bro. God damn. Show you but it would be so much cooler for Malik to get the ring. It would be so much fun to be the God Squad, Josh Allen. I don't need Patrick Mahomes. I just need God Squad everything else. Apparently, we have a shot. Guys. 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 No, no, that's not what happened. Actually, you dropped that ball. That's what the KO does. You dropped that ball. 90, 95 speed Calvin Johnson. What the fuck? Oh, no, he did hit it off. 
was that animation? Honestly, I'm a little tilted with that drive because I almost picked them off like twice, but that's also a good thing. If you're going to throw balls that can almost be picked off that many times, I'm bound to get a turnover in this game. Interesting user here. Let's see what he's got here. I'm going to go check down the ball. There might have been something deep on Love him, but I There's no way. Yeah, so it's that NFL divisional there. It's just nowhere on the field. That's so lame. Keep in mind, this is not the divisional. This is the NFC Championship, technically. This is the game before the Super Bowl. I'm going up top. Yup! I really thought he had that. That came out late, Jefferson. Oh, Justin Jefferson. Looking for Mike Irvin here. Nice blocking. Ooh, I'll take this. It's a little sketchy, but CD Lamb comes down with this. Guy uses the entire clock and shoots the defense every single time. Why? I don't know. Look who had that quick base. Okay, okay. I'm gonna cut it back across to where the user was, and we'll take a solid three yards. I'm gonna go hot and sit on a corner round. That's the one! Somebody's falling! The maniac. I'm gonna go to his side. I'm gonna cut this up the middle. Who's gonna get a really nice hit stick to take it to the two, but we're not quite in. He's not in a goal line check. Who's he on? But we weren't able to punch in, make it seven to seven. Here he is, Jerry. Punch in, punch in. He scores here with time left, and then I get the ball at half. The best I can do is time the game. I really don't like that. I, I like to be leading and get the ball at half, and he just got a roughing the kicker. Read option, maybe? I gotta go cover Saquon on my user, though. Hey! And get the ball half, and he just got a roughing the Oh yeah. 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 Oh
a linebacker to try to come from the back out of the backfield, turning some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of Okay, 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 okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go, ahead. Go, ahead. Go on ahead. That one's such a chain to look. I'm on it. Come on, T Sizzle, it's up to you. And what you can do about it. Every year, over 150,000 times. Oh, yeah, that's not gonna fucking happen ever. Ever. Break it up. Ever. Just let it break it up. Just let it break it up. Let it play it. I'll spam the ass, though. I'll spam the ass, though. I'll spam the ass, though. I'll spam Damn, I can't go prevent. All right, that's fine. We're here. It's gonna be a quick. It's gotta be quick. Quick to attack. He's going for everything. Get that shit out of here! I will keep me. Yeah, but he doesn't. He clearly doesn't have Justin Tucker. I, I'm, I was on my drill. I might be able to make this. Uh, I don't know. Nah, that's a Justin Tucker kick, cut. Huh? Or Greg the legs are on to it. Did you even get Greg? No. I know. Because <laughs> we ain't say nothing about him. <laughs> Oh, that, was, that was a crazy ass game, man. Fuck, what was the clips at? Naming that one roller coaster.